I could actually go for a cup of cheer right now. That sounds pretty good. It's really windy here. But you know what else is nice? Is a snuggle. Hey everyone, Kristen Som here, and we are continuing with our cup of cheer quilt. So we already completed section one completely, and that is great. I love how that came out. And then we just did the treetop and the tree bucket. I'm really curious to see how yours came out. I had to do mine a few times. I will be honest. I, I struggled with this one. I was determined to sew this closed. <laughs> I don't know why, but I finally got it. I'm pretty happy with it. So hopefully you learned from my mistakes on the last video. So today I'm hoping that we can get two done and they're really simple. Well, one of them is super simple. So let's go ahead and jump right in. So the one that we're going to work on now is Snuggle. It is on page 22 of our booklet, and you can always tell that it's a very simple block when there's almost nothing in our packet. So we are going to start with our main fabric. This is white with black dots on it. And this one we're going to start with at eight and a half by six and a half. Make sure to back it with fusible stabilizer. This one is embroidery only, so um, that can tend to pucker. So make sure that you're stabilizing it. And there's not a whole lot of embroidery. We should be okay, but if you back it with fusible stabilizer, you're going to make your chances of puckering much less. So like I said, eight and a half by six and a half white with the black dots for our main fabric. And then it's just embroidery. We'll do some color changes, that's about it. Um, but we are gonna quilt it. And so whenever we quilt, we use batting. So our final cut size on this one is six and a half by four and a half. So that means that we want a piece of batting that is seven by five, seven by five for our batting. And for our quilting, that's my archer. Did you hear him sighing? <laughs> for our quilting, oh, it's that cute one with the cups. So. Cup one in four by six is what we're gonna use for our quilting. And it, the block is gonna say, tis the season to snuggle. I can't wait until it's snuggle season. You can see I'm still in tank tops. It's so hot here. It's starting to get a little bit better though. So um, hopefully we're on a downward trend from the temperatures, although then I'll be wishing it was warm again. So. <laughs> <laughs> there's doesn't seem to be a happy medium here it's either super cold super windy or really hot so anyway we are going to make our snuggle block so let's go ahead and get started Thank you. 
right, so once we get our snuggle block done, I think we have time for another one, don't you? So let's go ahead and do mitten one. So somebody was asking me um, why mitten one and mitten two are different. This first one is very simple. It is just an applique mitten. The other one is gonna be a dimensional block, like our um, tree bucket that we did. So it'll have more to it, but this one is gonna be a very simple one. That's why I thought we could do it together with that simple snuggle block. All right, so let's go over what we need for this one. This is one of my favorite colors. Isn't this so pretty? It's like a teal, minty teal, and it's got Christmassy stuff on it. Super cute. Um, so on this one, this is our main fabric, and we're gonna start with this at six and a half by eight and a half, so it's going this way. Six and a half by eight and a half. Make sure to back it with fusible stabilizer. It's a pretty big piece of fabric. Six and a half by eight and a half, and it, like I said, it's that minty teal with Christmassy stuff on it. Candy canes and swirls and holly leaves. Very cute, and peppermints too. So that's our main fabric. And then we have just two applique pieces and that's for the mitten and the cuff. So for the mitten, it is just red, plain, silky, solid red. I did back mine with fusible stabilizer. That's optional, you know? <clears throat> Some people don't think it's necessary. I like it. I like that it's crisp and it's um, better for not puckering, but again, your choice, your quilt, your choice. So on this one, this red silky solid, we are going to have start with this at four and a half by five and a half, four and a half by five and a half um, for the mitten. <clears throat> That'll be cute because then we're gonna put that um, embroidery on it and with that red, it's gonna be very pretty. If it were more busy, then you wouldn't see the design. So this one, it'll be really cute. All right, so then for the cuff, we have that really pretty, um, Christmas stripes. I, I don't know what it's actually called, but that's what I'm calling it. Christmas stripes. Um, so on the cuff, this is three by two and a half. So that means it's going to go this way. So three by two and a half. You're going to want to watch this since it is a directional fabric and the sizing is pretty close. You're going to want to make sure that you're laying it down in the right way that you're going to have the stripes going the way that you want them. You know, this way versus this way, however, however you want to do it. All right, so three by two and a half for the cuff fabric. And then um, we are going to quilt this. So our cut size is four and a half by six and a half. So that means that we want a piece of batting that is five by seven. Five by seven for your batting. And then for our quilting, we are gonna do that really cute one with the snowmen. So cute, snowmen and swirls. That will be super cute. So we are going to use um, the winter two design in size four by six, four by six quilting in winter two. That will be really cute. And we're gonna use a thread color that will match our, uh, you can use whatever color you want, but I'm gonna use the one that will be similar to our main fabric for that quilting. So one thing is this one, when you look at the picture of it, it looks like we're going to have to move that mitten, but we don't. So I just want to let you know, this is going to be a very simple block. Um, the mitten is down toward the bottom of the block, but Kimberbell put in um, cutting guides at the top and the bottom. And so it, we will not have to move it at all. It's already centered. We have to just make sure that our quilting design is centered and our mitten design is centered. It will automatically go to the center almost always in every machine I've ever had. It just automatically goes to the center and then we're not going to move it. Uh, we actually probably, I'm not sure since we're not there yet, but I don't think we'll need those cutting guides since we're quilting first. So I may tell you that you can bypass them, but I'll decide for sure once we get there. Um, but generally we don't actually need the trimming guide because it, it's, it's there to set, help center the mitten and for the people that don't quilt. But when we quilt, um, we can always see the quarter inch seam allowance from the back and it just makes it very easy to know where to cut. So anyway, we are ready. This again will be another very easy block. So we have two easy blocks today.
I can't do nothing with you. And my shirt today is another simple pink um, tank top, but it's got a fun design on the back that I will share here. Um, I will share in the, the details underneath this video as to where I got the design. It's a pretty cool design, but I have to tell you, I was not impressed with the digitizing. So I will always be honest with things like that. Um, you can make it work. I made it work. It wasn't a big deal, but it was not digitized well. So anyway, just letting you know in case you go, oh, I need to get that design. Just be warned. It, it was not very well digitized, but it is a very cute design and I'm happy that I got it and made it work. By the way, how are you guys doing with your goal? I know Katie Mayo is crashing her goal. Just 
crushing, that's the word, crushing her goal. And Dwani Howard, she's always jamming on her treadmill and doing her gym workouts. Um, so hopefully you, you're doing well with your goal, whether it was to clean out your craft room or eat well or get more exercise. I have gone to the gym or done a big hike or something pretty much every day. Today, I actually skipped it. Uh, let my body heal. And the funny thing is, is I've been tired all day. I honestly like feed off of exercise. It gives me energy. So um, if you're feeling super tired or lazy, just know that maybe getting out and going for a walk might help. It helps me a lot. It really does. So anyway, hopefully you're doing great with your goal and I'd love to hear about it in the comments. Mm -hmm.